What activity are we keeping ourselves occupied with as we drive? Talking. We are lost. I am sitting on my bedroom floor and I am packing because I'm going to the Harp Gallery this weekend. And I will be road tripping out there with my friend and Harp colleague, Hannah Flowers. And together we are going to be manning the Music Makers booth. I'm excited to teach. I'm teaching a workshop on dynamics in general. It's going to be a good time. And I love road trips. What are you looking forward to the most this weekend? Oh, I'm just meeting people and hanging out and talking to her. But we're not really sure what it will be like, but we've been informed that it's a good time. The Music Makers folks said they thought we would like it, so we're excited. It was at this point in the trip when Hannah looked at the map and said, Elkhart, Indiana. Doesn't Anna live in Elkhart? You're going to be driving right through her town. Let's see if she wants to get dinner. Hi, Anna. <laughs> so good to see yeah, you. Thank you for calling. My goodness, this is so much fun. Yeah, like we saw each other last when she was 12. Yeah. When you were 12? My dad took me and was like, okay, Stephanie plays harp. Go talk to her and see what life is like. So she was like one of my first harp experiences. It was really fun for me to see you go off and become a professional harpist. Not not because of me, but I was like, well, we had a harp connection. <laughs> Camera reception. I like how this is my vlog and you're both filming. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for good food and these great friends who are here visiting. Amen. 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 Safe travel. I like your advertising. I get more business off Whoa. of that sign than anything else I've ever invested in. Wow. People stop me in intersections and like take pictures of my phone number and call me later. <laughs> Seriously. As long as they're people that you want to have calling yes. you. Yes. <laughs> right. Makes me think when you're away that every day is three. Every day is three. next morning we woke up way too early, grabbed some breakfast in the breakfast room which is underneath of this beautiful uh, oak tree and then we got to unloading the van. We pulled in all of the harps and the boxes and harp wheels and the harp desks and set them up and then we got to tuning. What it's really like to be a vendor at a harp festival. This is Hannah relaxing. <laughs> we have just done some harp tuning oh, and we moved all of the harps. Gorgeous. And we are just on the floor now because we have not bothered to not bring the chairs. the chairs in yet. After lunch, the vendor hall opened with a bang and suddenly it was filled with people trying the harps and talking and it was super fun and vibrant. At three o'clock, I headed up to teach my harp workshop, which I was pretty excited about. Just looking out my hotel room, window and I saw this pond and then I saw that in the pond are goldfish so I have to visit them. Oh look at them they're so cute. So here we are at the harp gathering with Tiffany Schaefer Yay! and Hannah of course <laughs> and this is the first time that all three of us are meeting each other in the flesh we have done I don't know if we're in frame or not we've done um, concerts together we've done videos together uh, we've been like teaching workshops in the same platforms together and this is the first time that we've met so it's lovely wonderful thing about harp gatherings in general and this harp gathering in specific uh, I'm glad to meet everybody yeah so one of the dangers of coming to events like this is that you see all of the sheet music available and then you purchase it and you can actually play it because there are harps and you're not paying for shipping yes yeah, so I own my harp center which is located in southeast Michigan we have line and Healy and Salvi harps and lots of music and fun accessories and strings and you have these cool you want to tell us about these strings yes. very interesting so I we have in stock the new biocarbon strings by Sipario it's a bioplastic created from after the vendor hall closed that evening, Hannah, Tiffany, and I went on a walk. There were so many adorable bunny rabbits. It made me so happy. We are lost in the wilds of Mirkwood. Mirkwood, this is... <laughs> what, what is this more like? Um, 
The swamp, the the dead marshes? No, this is... <laughs> no, that pond was back there. <laughs> that yeah, was over there. We passed the dead marshes. We survived the woodchuck. I think we need to go back to the elvish trees and try to go over that All right. um, bridge. I'm sorry, guys. It's on my phone. We have 15 minutes before the evening concert starts, and our goal is to be at the evening concert. We might be slightly out of breath and slightly sweaty. <laughs> At least we're not before. Oh, you're right. That would be way worse. Okay, we're just audience members, by the way, for this concert. We made it to the concert. We were only a little bit late. And afterwards, we went to the Saturday night session that Tiffany was leading. Played some tunes and did some jamming. Okay, this is a historic moment. Oops. Can we see us? I can look really On Sunday morning, Tiffany stopped by the vendor hall to try out the Music Maker's Sonnet for the first time. And this is the best low end I've ever heard on a small harp. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she said, whoa, when she first played it. It was great. And with that, we were at our final concert already. going to a cute little diner. There will be some harp gathering people there. Get the mural. The oh, pretty supper. mural. The final supper? We're not dying. <laughs> we ordered burgers and milkshakes and chatted until it was time to go home. Then we got in the van and hit the road. Look at those lovely clouds. We've got nine hours of driving Woo! ahead of us. It's good to be going home. Yay, Minnesota. There were people from all over the place. A lot of people that we had met online or chatted with on Facebook, in Facebook groups, or on uh, YouTube, who were then there in person, which was just such a joy. Yeah. Really, really fun. Really fun. It's all the news. Yes, yeah, so we are actually going to be coming back to the Harp Gathering next year, uh, this time as presenters. So Hannah and I will be teaching will be performing and Tiffany Schaefer will also be presenting and in concert so we're already brainstorming oh should we do some trios should we do some duets what should we play tell us what you want us to do anyway so we had a great time Hannah is doing calisthenics um I'm sore she's sore because she exercised oh, all right we should get back yeah in the heart mobile here here we go. We have this beautiful view. Isn't that nice? Little, little construction man. season. Stephanie is driving now, has released me from my driving duties. And we have had the lovely view of the backside of a semi most of the way. I'll be there and I reach out for you. I'll be there and call your name. I'll be there and I know I love you. Day of our trip. Okay. So at three in the morning, I woke up with this thought of what if somebody stole the van? People have stolen it. There's a very strong harp community on the internet. If you see this harp, call the police. We would get them. Don't steal harps. I don't blame what you know was in there. I can't find out where to start when I'm walking. are pulling back into the shop. This is Matt Edwards from Music Makers. Welcome back. So happy you could do this for us. And uh, despite the low sales, I am thrilled that your main mission of being hired by the festival for next year was <laughs> Congratulations to you both. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. I don't know if that was exactly how we would have phrased it. <laughs> It's a win for everybody. <laughs>
Oh, it was a great trip. It was really a pleasure to bring the Music Makers Harps to the harp gathering, and it was fun to see people's reaction. I just got a lot of compliments on how beautiful they were and also how nice they sounded. I had some really nice long conversations with people, which doesn't always happen. Sometimes everyone is just got to get to the next workshop. Hopefully, a lot of the harpists that we met this year will also be there next year. Thanks for coming along with me on this vlog adventure. <laughs> now the time has come to leave you I'm gonna hurt to say goodbye I'll remember all our good times As a tear drops into my eyes